Hello! Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today I have a vintage gadget for you. Today we're going to be testing out this vintage gadget. The Radiant Refrigerator Defroster from Osram. It says, works so fast, frozen foods never thaw. We'll see about that, Osram. <laughs> We found this gadget on eBay and we ended up paying $10 for it plus shipping. So not too bad. Uh, original price in the 50s, $6.95. I was able to find a vintage ad for this product. So I'm gonna pop that in and read it to you. And it says, defrost your refrigerator in minutes. The Osro infrared defroster works so fast, frozen foods, can't thaw. Puts an end to fuss and mess. Just place the defroster in your freezing compartment and plug in to, to nearest outlet. Then sit back and relax. UL approved and guaranteed in writing. Get one this Christmas. Supplies limited, so act fast. Only $6.95 at all fine stores. We're going to see how it goes. We have plugged it in and it does heat up, so that's great. We're going to put it in. I am slightly concerned about water dripping on this while it's plugged in but obviously it was made for that so I think what we'll do is just for safety plug it into its own power bar so that you know if it trips a breaker or something it will just be isolated to that what we've done in the past when we needed to defrost our fridge was we actually have another fridge in the basement um, I've talked about that kitchen that we have down there. So what we usually have done is just take all of everything out of this refrigerator downstairs, put it in the refrigerator down there and prop this, the door open to this one and unplug it and just leave it overnight. But we're going to see if this handy gadget is going to make that process a lot faster and easier. And it's got its work cut out for it. I'm not gonna lie, we're overdue for a defrost and you're gonna see that. Please don't judge me, it's been a couple of months, and but we're doing it now. Our fridge is a vintage cold spot and I believe it is anywhere from 1949 to 1951. I had a hard time pinpointing the exact year, but according to the advertisements I could find, in 1952 is when it became an automatic defrosting refrigerator. So it's gotta be before that. A lot of people wonder how efficient this refrigerator is. And honestly, our electric bill breaks down how much we spend on refrigeration each month. And between the upstairs fridge and the downstairs fridge, it equals about $5 a month. So I don't think that's very bad. Okay, so I will show you the inside of the fridge and then we will move the food and get started. We found this fridge for $150 on a local classified page online and it was a lady's second fridge. It never really got used much. It was in really great shape. The seal around the door actually is going to need to be replaced very soon. Uh, the rubber is getting very hard and kind of brittle. Um, and that will also help with the frost situation as well. Um, because if we get a good seal on the door, then it won't get as much condensation that builds up. Um, so that'll be good. Uh, also, there was a piece of glass um, that went over the bottom of the bin down there. And unfortunately, it broke. I'm so sad. But we are probably going to get another piece cut if we can't find an original piece to put in. The ad says that you can defrost your fridge before your frozen foods thaw. So here is the freezer chest. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of ice, I told you. Um, and so we're going to move the frozen foods down into that bottom bin. And then we'll start with the defrosting and see if it's true. And like I said, it has its work cut out for it. so. It may be like this is a little too far gone to get an accurate test. We'll see. We 
We have the frozen food down in the bottom. Time to get our gadget. We have our defroster. It's plugged in. Let's put it in. I feel heat coming off of it. That's a good sign. We're gonna stick it in here. It says that it takes minutes, so maybe we'll start out with 15 minutes and then we'll check on it and see how it's doing. been 15 minutes. Let's see what's happening in here. Oh. Yikes. Some drips are happening. It's sizzling. So far so good I guess it's things are melting so that's good um, I do see some like steam smoke coming I think it's steam slightly concerned about the drips yeah. well it seems like it's working I think we better give it some more time because there is a lot of frost <laughs> in there Maybe we'll give it 30 minutes this time and then check back. Okay, it's been another 30 minutes. I heard some noises, like maybe some ice chunks were falling. It's a good sign. Let's check it out. Oh, yes. We have progress. Things are happening. Uh, so we decided uh, we decided to unplug the fridge, and hopefully that's the right choice. It, because what was happening is the dr it was dripping down and then refreezing on the bottom, and so we decided to unplug it. And hopefully, just with the door closed, that this stuff will stay cool enough. Maybe I'll grab these pieces out and we'll let it keep doing its work. It's definitely, it's definitely working. So that's great. So we got some of the bigger ch ice chunks out and uh, like kind of pulled some of the loose ones off the, the ceiling here. Um, so we're going to let it be for a little longer, probably give it another good 30 minutes. And hopefully this stuff is loose enough that we can just go ahead and pull it out. All right, it's been another 40-ish minutes. I've heard some ice sounds. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. So the, a ton of ice is melted up here and also underneath I can see there's quite a bit of water in this, the chiller, which is also its dual purpose for when you thaw it or for when you defrost it actually. So that is good. It's definitely doing what it's supposed to do. I think Really, it was just our bad for having so much ice for it to work on. This door does feel warm, so I worry leaving it too long with the plastic might be a problem. Um, but like I said, if you had a normal amount of ice, I think it would have been perfect. Okay, so last time you saw there was a bunch of ice here, all I did was I moved the, the defroster out so that we could see about um, removing the ice and it's all just coming out. It feels like, it's like snow. 
so I'll show you like this. See, it's all just coming out in these big pieces, which is great. a final result. I'm going to show you how it worked out. Okay, if you remember before, lots of ice, lots of frost, and now, ta-da! Now for the other test, we have to check and see if the frozen food is still frozen. Let's see. Moment of truth. Ah, that's, that's pretty good if you ask me, right? Now that we've cleared out all the frost, I can actually <laughs> fill my ice cube trays that came with the fridge and they will now fit in the top compartment because it's not all frozen over. Final thoughts on the Radiant Refrigerator Defroster. I'm gonna say this is a nifty gadget. Worked like a charm. I think if we, like I said, if we didn't have as much frost and ice in there, it definitely would have done exactly what the ad said and worked in minutes. As it was, it still only took a few hours, whereas if we would have done it the old way that we've usually done, where we unplug it and prop it open, it would have lasted over a day to be able to get that ice to all melt to where we could pull it out. So in the 50s, the price for this item was $6.95. In 2020 dollars, that equates to about $66. So in the 50s, that is kind of an expense that you would have to weigh, but to me, I think it would be worth it to not have to chisel away at ice or find a cooler or a second fridge to leave your food in overnight. So I thought it would be fun to come up with a little rating scale for these vintage gadgets. So number one is the cost. $6.95 versus $66. Was it worth that? I think so. I think it would be such a time saver and an energy saver. I would say, yeah, worth it. What we paid for it, $9.99 on eBay, definitely worth it. So cost, is it something that I would buy? I think yes. I'm gonna say yes on that one. Number two, the claim. Did it do what it said it was gonna do? Did it live up to the hype on the ad that I read? I say, yeah, it totally did. That one is a yes. Number three, efficiency. Did it not only do what it said it was gonna do, but did it, was it efficient? Did it do it well? I'm gonna give that one a yes as well. The only thing I will say is that after it was in there for 30 minutes or so towards the end, this handle would get a little bit warm. So the only, that's the only tick mark I would say against it is I, I touched it a little bit and it was pretty hot and so I had to get a rag to grab it out but I mean overall it's really not that big of a downfall so that one efficiency I'm gonna give that one a, a yes and lastly the aesthetic I think this gadget is very cool it is aesthetically pleasing it's kind of atomic looking with the grill and the feet and the shape of it kind of flying saucer-ish. So the aesthetic, I'm gonna give it a yes. It is a very nifty gadget if I don't say so myself. I hope that you enjoyed this vintage gadget video. I had a lot of fun with this one and I'm definitely gonna use that gadget again at least once a month when I defrost my refrigerator. So that is awesome. Something I can use and that functions 
and my vintage lifestyle is always a thumbs up from me. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have any vintage gadgets that you like to use in your home and maybe if you have an idea of one that I can try next. I would love to hear from you. So thank you so much for being here. I sure appreciate each and every one of you. And if you have not subscribed already, please do so. I would love to have you around for more of our vintage fun. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.